Hello ladies and gentlemen and all the core gamers out there, CAJ Man Triple Seven here bringing you episode 8 of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes today. Last time we uh, did a lot of exploring of Torvus Bog, it was a bit of a longer episode and we picked up super missiles which is really great and now we know that there's another dark temple in Torvus that we need to find three keys for and do it that way. This time... Uh, we're gonna be going after, actually, another boss right away, actually. Probably at the very beginning of this episode, we're gonna be going right after the boss, if I remember the map correctly. Um, but, before we get into that, I'd like, I want to give a quick shout-out to all of our donators over there on Patreon. Jazzy Floof, Valentine Blaze, Mickey Four Gens, Maddie Lee, and Kitty Cat for their continued support to the channel. So, let's get right into it for this episode. And, uh... Oh, God, this is... Oh, boy. Uh, folks, let, let me explain something. We're about to have a lot of fun uh, coming up here. And by fun, I mean torture. Because the boss coming up on hard difficulty... Remember how I mentioned uh, in a previous episode that there was a boss that we had a fight with no safe zones in the arena and it was pretty much a cheap boss? Yeah, this is the room for that boss. So, uh, I just want to kind of... Show you guys that boss. You know what he just used? You know what that boss just used, right? That boss just used the boost ball. This boss is the boost guardian. Everybody hates the boost guardian. And you will see why. We actually have another name for the, uh, the boost guardian in uh, just random playthroughs that I like to play every time I play this. Because it's always RNG whether he kicks my butt or not. I like to call him the Troll Guardian. And you guys will see that in the fight as we do battle the Boost Guardian as soon as we go through that tunnel. Um, but uh, I guess let's get right into it. And here we go. Fighting the Boost Guardian. I hate this boss. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to fire a super missile at it just for a little bit of damage. And uh, Boost Guardian. Uh, I will be scanning him in a moment when he does his one move. But right now he's not uh, currently uh, scannable. So right now I'm actually going to scan him because he's going to do his one move right now. We're going to scan the Boost Guardian. Read all about the Boost Guardian. Morphology. Boost Guardian. D boost Powered Warrior Inc. Boost Ball Ability grants great speed to enemy. Target can only be damaged in solid form. Find it a way to keep it solid. This Warrior Inc has absorbed the power of the boost ball. It can boost blast toward its enemies using its body as a potent weapon. When it is not in solid form, engaging it in morph ball mode may provide better attack opportunities. So yeah, this this fight is one of those fights that we have to fight in morph ball. And as you can tell, he's going to make very good use of that boost ball. But the reason we call him the Troll Guardian uh, is because, as you can tell, there are no safe zones in this arena. None. Zero. Zilch. And uh, he gets little, little freaking annoying ing helpers that get to stand in my way half the time. And I have to actually do some damage to him while in boost ball, while he's in his boost form. And as you can tell, he took off already two energy tanks on me. Uh, that's never fun. So we're going to try and get some uh, very high powered attacks in there on boost guardian right now. As soon as he gets up and he appears out of the, uh, out of his mist again. Uh, he's right there, which, oh, crap, I missed my opportunity. Uh, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna need him to pop one of these pillars, if possible. Uh, I need health. Badly. Uh, conveniently, these pillars drop ultra energy units, which is very nice, but this is why we call him the Troll Guardian right here. He can still do that. This boss is not fun, guys. In a previous playthrough on hard mode that I had, let me explain something. I fought this boss for an hour straight and couldn't beat it on hard mode. This is probably the most annoying and obnoxious boss in the game. In fact, it's so annoying and obnoxious that in the trilogy version of uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, they lowered his damage by 50%. Uh, because that's how much he does. He's an absolutely insane boss on the hard mode in the trilogy. Uh, but he's a lot easier in the trilogy than he is in the vanilla version of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, which is the version we are actually playing. 
uh, where you're playing it on the GameCube, and he's such a hard boss, guys. It's not even funny. I don't like this boss. This boss sucks. This boss could take forever. We like calling him a troll guardian. And honestly, if it gets any, if we die again, if we die a couple times to this boss, I'm gonna skip the cutscene. You guys have already seen it. Uh, if we die to this boss multiple times, I'm gonna just start putting a counter up on the screen every time I die to the boss, because you know, boost guardian, troll guardian. He need he needs his own special counter to show how much how how bad this boss actually can be. So with that, we let's go right back into the arena and try not to suck. Uh, immediately, I did switch to light beam this time as well right away, so I should actually be able to fire a fully charged light beam shot into him right away. The light beam uh, does about as much as a super missile, if not a little more, if you get close enough. So I'm going to try and do as much damage as possible now. I'm going to wait for him to go into boost ball. Bomb him a couple times there. Got to wait for him to, like, kind of go liquid. Um, if you, like, bomb before he spins up and he takes a hit, ouch. Uh, if he takes a hit before he spins up, you can get a very good opportunity to deal damage to the Guardian himself. Ooh, that was close. Uh, that was one. That's his charge move. So what you got to do is you got to try and damage him as he moves around the arena. It is a bit trickier to do, especially because when you lose all four of those pillars, um, you lose all invincibility frames if you lose all four of those pillars. Gotta, I got I to gotta keep the small ones at bay. If I don't keep the small ones at bay, we're going to have a lot of trouble. So I need to keep as much damage on this Guardian as possible. I didn't do jack that time. Um, we're going to try... Ooh, that was a good bomb. Uh, we're going to try and get a, as much damage as possible on the Guardian. We're going to try not to get hit by the Guardian as well. As you can see, he does an absolutely annoying amount of damage. And I, no one wants to deal with how much damage he can inflict. Even running into you normally in his liquid form kicks your ass literally just beats you down he's senseless this thing has no mercy whatsoever and i need to get rid of you uh now we need to how seriously okay that that's why we call him the troll guardian because i fired my shot off again another reason why we call him the troll guardian right there what what you guys just saw i'm just start shooting light beam at him instead um you want to get in my face i see all right he's gonna go uh, ball for him Right. Let's see if we can get really... No, we're, we're going to die. We're going to die. Yep. Well, I'm going to skip to when I get to the fight again, guys. And uh, obviously, anytime I die, it's uh, I'm going to put up a little counter. Uh, starting with two, because we've already died twice. So I ho I'll see you guys when I get to the boss and probably maybe inevitably die. Again, because the Boost Guardian is just an annoying piece of garbage. Um, so, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I, I could beat him a third time, but uh, I'll see you guys when I get to the boss. That fight was going so well. That was, that was going, it was going so well. Oh, man. That hurts, guys. Like, I was, I was on a, I, I had, a, I was in such focus mode on that one. I knew what I had to do, and unfortunately, Troll Guardian strikes again on the last phase of his on the last phase of his rolling. So that's that's a little unfortunate, but you know what? You gotta suck it up and deal with it, and uh, you just gotta move on and do it again. Obviously, I'll be uh, incorporating the same strategy that I did last time, so I'll see you guys in a second again. Yeah, it happened again. That one was worse, though, because that, that run was worse on it uh, because of the way his, his one attack caught me early. And the thing is with Boost Guardian, when you get hit uh, with um, when you get hit with the Boost Guardian's boost attack, he speeds up uh, and bounces off even crazier when he hits you. So the goal during his Morph Ball form is to either stay in Samus form and not get hit and wait till he goes liquid. Or you need to um, stay up. Uh, you need to like stay in uh, morph ball form and try and avoid him as much as possible. But you don't want to rush it. Uh, you don't want to intentionally run into his boost ball form because that'll just make him speed up and get angry and run into pillars which summon tinier ing. Like the pillars summoning summoning small little minions to help him out during the fight doesn't help either because you can't hurt the tiny ing in the same vein that you can't hurt the 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 boost guardian. You have to wait. 
uh, for an opportunity. But anyways, I'll see you guys at the fight. Oh, that one was, I, I, I was an idiot on that one. I moved right into where that bounce was happening. Oh yeah, baby! Oh yes! <sighs> guys, that was a tough fight. What if I told you guys? What if I? What if I? I've done it in a previous play session where I where I've had to beat him in an hour. But what if I told you guys prior to this recording, right after I recorded episode seven, I practiced this fight for an hour. I still practiced this fight for an hour, and I still died on on the actual playthrough. That kind of just shows you how hard this boss is. Not only have I be, uh, had to face this boss for an hour on a previous playthrough, I practiced for an hour constantly against, against the boss you just saw before this recording, and I continued to die over and over. It took me forever to learn a good strategy. With that... We have gotten ourselves the boost ball back. Thank God this Guardian is done. It's over with. And now I can go zoom and not care because zoom. And I can break the pillars myself and get ultra energy units now because zoom. And I can zoom around. And because there was a dark temple key in this room that I never mentioned that was actually there before. We're going to pick it up right now. And there we go. That's one of three keys we need to go to the Temple of Torvis Bog. And guys, let me tell you, that fight is nothing to be mess uh, to be uh, messing around with. Like, legitimately, that fight is very, very difficult to pull off. Um, 
But now that we have Boost Ball, uh, what we can do now, uh, I was supposed to show off what Boost Ball can do here. Um, I failed. <laughs> I failed to show off what Boost Ball can do here. But essentially, if you hold B to charge the ball when you're in Boost Ball form, you can, uh, you know, like, zoom across the platforms. And uh, that gives us that. I don't really think I need an energy recharge, but what I do, what I will need is I will need a spinner, uh, a spinner recharge for a second because now we actually have to take a little bit of a detour now that we actually have picked up boost ball. Activate the spinner and we actually need to head back to the temple grounds, believe it or not, because there is an item we need to go be picking up in the, in the temple grounds. Don't step in the poisonous gas. Thank you. That doesn't help. No poisonous, no poisonous gas, please. Um, but yeah, there's a, uh, there's an item back in the temple grounds that we need to go, uh, collect now before we can even progress further into the Torvis bog itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head all the way down back to this portal and, uh, we're going to, we're going to head back and we are going to go get the item we need to succeed. I'm just going to skip this cutscene because you guys don't need to see it. I can't skip that part, though. You guys are stuck with that one. Sorry. Um, but anyways, we got to head back to Temple Grounds. Before we do that, though, we got to go this way in order to head back to Temple Grounds. Because not only do we have a Super Missile Door here, we need Seeker Missiles. Uh, seeker Missiles are the next upgrade we are going to be picking up. Uh, we are going to need to get through a lot of areas in Torvus Bog. And Pirates? Pirates? As you can tell, I can't get up that platform. Um... However, there's another half pipe structure here. I will be using this half pipe and I will be using it to climb up this room myself. Uh, that way we can get around so we need to uh, so we can go take the long route around Torvis Bog to get where we need to go. Probably should have shot that those boxes with some dark beam because uh, I really could use the light beam ammo. as you could tell, after the fight with the boost guardian, my light beam ammo is severely severely low. Um, that's all right. I'll head over here, and uh, this is just kind of a kind of a detour back, uh, you could say. It does have uh, an interesting enemy in it. It's got a a crocus. It's a toxic knee forger, heavy armored attack when it exposes its gills like that. So it kind of just opens up its wings like that, and they hop around. They're they're really weird like frog creatures, but they're they're cool. I like them. I appreciate them. They're little neat addition to the the enemies of, of Metroid and there's uh, that's what they look like by the way up close uh, I know they don't look great but you know this is GameCube graphics guys like this game was uh, done such a long time ago but anyways that multi-dimensional spinner that we saw going into the Boost Gardens arena here it is and that's going to skip that and it's also going to lower the gate in the dark world uh, version of Torvis Bog for us as well uh, and if we were to continue to continue continuously go this way uh, I believe this is just a dead end uh, coming up for us. Yeah, because it's a plaza access. And what we can do, actually, going into here, uh, we might be able, we not we're not gonna be able to get into the plaza. But what we can do uh, is at the end of this room, we can pick up an item. And what I need to do in order to pick up that item is I need to get into this so I can hop through, and that will change. The rotation of that for us, and I can probably skip this as well, I can. Because um, obviously you guys don't need to see everything spinning in place. Unless you guys want to see everything spinning in place, then I won't skip the cutscene. Um, but we need to get up here. And into that section right there of plaza access. The best way for us to do that, we gotta hop over here. Hop over here one more time. And that's actually gonna create uh, the plaza for us or the, the entrance so we can get into that one room. So I'm going to hop back and hop up here if I can. Just got it. And we're going to hop up here. And this is where we can use our newfound boost ball to the test. Uh, so there's a half pipe structure up here that you can constantly use. And you can see that there's a missile expansion hiding right there. So let's pop in, grab the missile. And that is going to give us a, uh, more missiles that we can use for, for the game. Unfortunately, I can't go any further into this room yet. The reason I can't go any further into this room yet is because we it requires boost ball in the next room, but we still need another upgrade to go along with the boost ball. 
in order to complete that room's puzzle. And how do I know it's a room's puzzle? I've played this game many times, guys. Why do you question me? <laughs> I mean, you may, you can question my decisions all you want, but I've played this game multiple times, and I have a, I have a pretty good uh, idea uh, that I, I, I could say I have a pretty good idea that I know what I'm doing. But as you can see, there's a Grenchler down there. Um... He's a naughty Grenchler. We, we, we say no, no to the Grenchler. Um, but let's hop down here. We're going to have to open this door with light beam as fast as possible and move because that Grenchler is behind us. Uh, and if we had that load trigger. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Speaking of Grenchlers and super missile. What you thinking, buddy? Oh, 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 come on. Go, oh. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks for getting me stuck there. Come on. Oh, and you're dead. Oh. Oh, no. Poor, poor, poor Grunchler. Disappear into darkness. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna... We actually gotta head back to Temple Grounds now, and uh, we can go do some stuff. So, let's go do that. Also, if you didn't hear, there's a Grunchler behind me now, too. Uh, in, in the first room of Torvis Bog that we explored. The last time, Shriek Bats! I love Shriek Bats. <laughs> At the same time, they appear out of nowhere half the time. Uh, anyways, this is like a generator thing. It's kind of cool structure. It's a part of an air purification system. It's still active, but only partially. Uh, anyways, let's skip this cutscene and try and pick up another upgrade. Temple Grounds. So as you know, there were a lot of super missile doors here that we couldn't quite access when we when we came here. Uh, the reason that we couldn't access the super missiles is... Um, uh, well, the reason we couldn't access the doors is because we needed super missiles that we picked up in Torvis Bog. Coming back here will allow us to pick up... Uh, not only can we access doors that are green, however, we can also do something very, very special. Uh, again, this room, I won't quite access it yet. There is something very important in this room, though. Uh, I won't be accessing any of these blue rooms except this one right now. Because uh, as you can tell, there is a super missile door that we can shoot here. So we're going to go do that. Uh, and we're going to pick up another upgrade and then pretty much call it an episode at Samus's ship. I'm going to actually choose to ignore that guy and take the shortcut I made earlier. Uh, off camera, you guys didn't see this shortcut. This was when I was doing the, uh, when I was coming back and doing a bunch of stuff. I really should be shooting these with dark beam. Someone please remind me to shoot those with dark beam next time. Someone in the comments, I'm sure one of you will remind me. Please do. Bank. Bank. Bank? Bank. Okay, weird. Weird. I'm gonna shoot these ones with dark beam. Yay, light beam. Oh, I missed. I am a terrible shot. There we oh, that's, uh, that's 30 light beam. Oh, thank you. God. Oh, God, Shriek is War Wasp. Why are you here? Get out of here. Get out of here. Your hives aren't welcome. Uh, anyways. Moving on to this room, which we call the Hall of Eyes. Um, kind of a cool name for a room, but yeah, that's the Hall of Eyes. Get some ammo. And uh, walking back out this way, we might be greeted by some pirate troopers. I'm really hoping we're not. We probably will be. Cross my fingers. Shouldn't be. There's a hive here. All right. Anyways, we gotta use this uh, this little half pipe system to get ourselves up, and uh, obviously doing this won't really nut us anything special. However, this does not get allows us to access this tunnel with the boost ball, which act which allows us to access that room. Go back. Go back. Go back. Ooh, yeah. I need to remember. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Barely made it across. Uh, and this will allow us to access the new uh, temple, essentially. We're heading right into the, the heart of uh, this area. And you can see it's blocked by Seeker missiles uh, on the front. That purple that purple shield of Seeker missiles. But we have access and free reign to this temple right now. And obviously inside this is going to be our Seeker missiles. So what we have to do here... Is spin a bunch of these. We're just recording a bunch of logbooks now. We that those are spinners. The first time you scan a spinner, you get a bunch of stuff. This is just showing a bunch of stuff, which is really neat. Structural analysis. It's just telling you who the Luminoth are. This portal, by the way, has some significance. We can't access this portal no matter what we do throughout the game, except in one occasion. 
You guys will see what that is very late in the game, of course, and I will explain it, and I will show you um, when we get there. But, spinner puzzle. We have to solve a little puzzle and give ourselves a chance to light all these spinners up. I believe the... I forget what the combination is, but we need to light as many of these up as we can. In order to get out of a spinner puzzle, by the way, all you need to do is press the A button and drop a Morph Ball Bomb. Okay, that does that. Okay, sorry guys, this is a, this is a tough spinner puzzle to remember sometimes. And this should be the last one. This should spin these two discs, and it does. And there we go. And with that, we can now pick up the Seeker Launcher, or Seeker Missiles. Ah, yes! Seeker Launcher acquired. Press and hold Y to fire ch uh, to charge Seekers. So, you just hold the Y button. Not like a Super Missile where you hold the charge with it. You hold Y. And what you have to do... Is if you come over here, where's the door? There's the door. You can see that it's locking onto seeker targets. Uh, now, you do need to hit all five targets simultaneously in order to do this properly. So, if I stand here. Got it. Uh, it'll open the door for us. And now we can slowly exit this temple the way we were supposed to go the first time. Through the Path of Honor. Very cool name for a path, by the way. Like, it's Path of Honor. Because there's a... The, obviously, their temple in the center of that. All. Obviously, the temple's above us because based on, you know, the elevators, this is the top section of this room right here is the temple, but the bottom section is Hall of the Honored Dead. Uh, the top section is a great temple, as you guys know. But with that, uh, we are actually going to head right back to our ship and call it an episode, believe it or not. We got a lot of progress actually done in this episode, and we're going to have a lot of exploration. Um... We have a lot more exploration opportunities now that we have uh, Seeker Launcher and Super Missiles back. However, we're not going to be doing that quite yet. But before I do that, we're going to scan another Key Bearer lore uh, for uh, one of the Key Bearers. And with that, we can kind of scan the ship and it tells us, uh, you know, it's, it'll save our weapons in progress. But I want to thank you all for watching this episode of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Episode 8. Hope you guys really enjoyed it and... Uh, until then, this is CAJMan777 signing off. Stay safe, everybody.